Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Got another battle box that just arrived. This gear in this box is all about fishing, so we're gonna head down to the water and see if we can actually catch a fish on video with the gear we get from Battle Box. We'll unbox the uh, the gear, take a look at it real quick, and then see if we can at least catch something. I don't think I'm gonna prepare it and eat it just because it's like eight o'clock in the morning and I'm just not into fish for breakfast. But uh, yeah, let's, let's jump to it. So mission 18, fishing box 2016 for the um, Pro, Plus co Pro Plus cost, that which is this box. It's gonna be 150 bucks cost and then your value is $279.86. So that's how much you're paying, 150, but you're getting 280 bucks worth of gear. All right, so get some of this out of the way. They do know you can use this for Tinder. I may actually try that sometime. But let's jump into the gear and check it out. First thing is Walton's Thumb Fisherman Multi-Tool. Uh, pincer, clipper, knot tag crimper, split shot opener, knife screwdriver, split ring opener, scissors, hook eye cleaner, and lanyard ring. So on the back you can see here, um, yeah basically a full rundown of all the gear in this tiny little thing. It looks like a nail clipper, but something you can use to you know deal with all the basic situations that are gonna pop up when you're fishing. So there's the first piece of gear. I'm just going to cross-reference it with this thing here. Walton's Thumb Fisherman Multi-Tool. They're saying that's 40 bucks is the uh, the value for that one. Next we have Sapsucker Lures. These are freshwater. Looks like, yeah, they're just the lures. No jigs included, so no hooks included. Um, but maybe we'll see if we can figure those out if there are some hooks in here. So let's see. Those are 1.5 inch. They're saying value is $3.79. So there's the second item. Got a bunch of knives, we're gonna hold off to the end for those guys. We do have two of these, which I saw briefly last night when I checked them out. And what you're looking at here, I'm gonna give the official the official name, White's Mechanical Auto Reeler, two of them, 650 each. And these are the type of things you can set up so your, um, your fishing line's gonna basically fish for itself. Once you get it rigged up, when the fish hits, it's going to, let's see, so now it's, it's sitting in the water. When the fish hits, it releases and reels up itself. So once again, it's like this. The fish hits on the line and it reels itself up. So that's basically something you could set up for ice fishing or you could set up in other scenarios where you want to just leave it and come back and get the fish later. So two of those. And it says the value for that is six fifty. Got a big old reel here, or a big old spool I should say of line. So this is the six inch Cuban yo-yo hand fishing reel. The value is $12.48. You can see you got a bunch of line on there, got some leaders, a big old hook there down on the end. I think we hopefully have some more hooks in here. There's a big, a big old uh, leader. Yeah, anyhow, so that's just a large spool that you can use for fishing, obviously, plenty of line. There you go, here's some hooks. Some eagle claw hooks. These are they're ten of these size two, and the value for those guys is three ninety nine. So that's yep. Now we got hooks. We can do our fishing for today certainly. Down here on the bottom, this is from Ready Man. They use this gear pretty often. Ready Man gear, and this is the. Um, let me read it again officially here. This is the fish fisherman survival card. So it's got spoons on it. It's got hooks on it. It's got a little. I don't know if that's for for taking care of your fish preparation when it's all said and done. But these are made to fit into a wallet, as you can see. So it fits into your uh, into your wallet. Very small, very lightweight. I'd probably actually keep it in this plastic sleeve just because that'll uh, that'll keep it from going all over the place. It does note on the back that Ready Man is a patent, Ready Man survival cards patent pending from 28 years, Special Forces veteran Jeff Kirkham. Survival cards are a no-brainer everyday carry item. So that's cool. I like these Ready Man things. I think they're they're in, intuitive and uh, just creative. So, all right. So four more items. The first one here is a fillet knife, and this is from Rapala. Some people call it Rapala, but whatever it is, it is a very very sharp fillet knife. Good solid grip on that. Got that nice finger guard there. So when you're doing the fillet work, you're not going to hurt hurt yourself. Um, it is made in China. Just some people want to know about that. So, just yeah, heads up on that one. Um, it does, let's see, let me check out the cost on this one. Rapala 6 inch fillet knife, $11.82. Super lightweight, here's your sheath. Do make sure when you put it away, you slide the knife in and the blade doesn't pop out. So you stab yourself on the hand, make sure it's slid in completely. There's that. 
Over here we have a knife from Mora, and if you've seen Mora knives before, as soon as you pick this up, you're like, yeah, even if I didn't see the name, I would recognize that plastic sheath. Made in Sweden. This is their, um, let me see the official name, 3.9 inch Mora knife or Mora knife, uh, 098 fishing comfort scaler. So a very small um, blade, classic Mora handle, sharp edge there, and then use that for scaling your fish. Yeah, it's cool. You're definitely not going to be doing a whole lot more than that with this knife, but uh, more just makes a ton of different knives for different purposes. That's what that one is for. Your value for that is, let's see, $19.29. Here we have the SOG uh, multi-tool. This is the Power Play. This is one of their newer ones. I actually have this one. I've checked it out and, um, and used it. I do like SOG multi-tools. I like some more than others. I put this one kind of in the middle of the pack. This one has pluses and minuses. Um, anytime you see these gears here on a SOG multi-tool, you can know that they, they're basically the way they've built it, the ergonomics and the physics of it, uh, it's going to be, I should say physics, not the ergonomics, but uh, it's going to give you more gripping power. So it says two times the grip with compound leverage gears. So that's just how they do a lot of their, a lot of their knives. Um, this one also has a hex bit hex bit kit with it so I'll flip it to the back here you can see you get the actual multi tool and then the hex bit kit which when you close up the multi tool is gonna go right in the uh, right in the uh, top there you basically grip it and then you can twist the multi tool good concept there's some ways they can improve that I've seen that before uh, I've tested it out you got to just really squeeze the handles tightly if you want to use the um, use the uh, drivers there if you let them loose at all the driver can actually spin in the screw head or the bolt head whatever whatever it is uh, but again, it's a, it's a pretty decent uh, multi-tool, especially if you don't have one. It's great to have an actual multi-tool now. So there's that. This is the most intriguing item, I think, from the, uh, from the whole setup. I saw this at SHOT Show. I didn't shoot video on it, but basically it's a fishing spear. And uh, i got to kind of disassemble it here so I can show you how it actually works. So it's two pieces. All right, so you're going to take the sheath off. You do have a bunch of cordage that's included with it. Be careful because this bottom section is actually a blade and you'll see why in a minute. Basically what you're going to do, see if I can do it here, yep, there we go. You're going to lock these two in together and then you're going to actually drive this into your spear and then you know, you're going to hold it like this and now you've got your fishing spear. The concept I think is really cool. Um, these are decently sharp. I am by no means a spear a fish a spear fishing expert but that looks really big to me for a fishing spear let's hear what you guys have to say I mean you probably know some of you guys know more, way more about spear fishing than I do but that just seems large to me um, you know frog gigs and such are obviously much smaller but maybe for spear fishing it's you're supposed to have something that big but the concept is and something you know disassemble it stack it and now you put it in the case small relatively lightweight I don't call it super lightweight but it's relatively lightweight and now you take it apart you know, put together like this, lock it in with the cordage, and you're good to go. And I'll put a link down below to um, some other guys who've actually looked at this at SHOT Show fully assembled. I just don't want to take the time to do that now because I want to get to actually fishing. All right, time check, 9.07. Sun is coming up out there on the water out that way. So let's get to this. We're going to use our Moretta. Ooh, that thing is sharp. Pierce that open. Got some line here. Now, I'm not going to use this actual whole setup here. What I'm going to do is take some line off here, put it on a uh, put it on a long slender sapling or stick and then put on maybe one of these one of these guys to actually try catching fish. We'll see how that works. If it doesn't work with these, see if I can dig up a worm or something like that and see if we can catch some fish. All right, so we got this definitely heavy duty line. But I'm telling you, I can hear some serious splashing going on out there in the water. So we definitely got some Either it's a fish or it's an alligator. Pretty sure it's a fish. All right, anyhow, let's uh, get this line set up and see if we can catch something. Real quick here, for people who might be wondering, you know, why don't you just use this setup? It's got everything, you know, built right in. You got your, your weights, you got your steel leaders, heavy test line. Um, you gotta be responsive to your environment. So where I'm at, there's not a ton of open water. So to throw this out and then to try to reel it back in, just not gonna work out great. So I found in kind of swampier waters or where there's a lot of top cover, just having a long stick, dropping your line in and then slowly pulling either your bait or your lure back in so it doesn't get caught up in the stuff and doing that again and again. It's the best way for me, I found to actually catch things like panfish, sunfish, perch, 
uh, things like that. So that's why I'm not using this setup. I just don't think it's gonna work best in this environment. But you know, if you haven't seen these before, basically you're gonna throw the line out, it's gonna come flying off this line off this thing, and then you can reel it back in quite effectively. So that being said, I've got my pole set up and my hook set up, and we'll uh, toss it out into the water, see if we can catch something. No dice. Oh crap. Oh, going in. Going in. Ah. Going in. Well, you saw it there, uh, no luck catching the fish, but it is what it is. You know, just a quick tip there when it comes to wilderness survival, bushcrafting stuff. I think sometimes people think, well, I have a fishing kit, therefore I'll catch fish, therefore all my food needs will be taken care of. Just not the case. So what I'm finding is that a lot of the action that we're seeing on the surface is actually frogs. It was at too far a distance for me to actually like see what was causing the um, disturbance on the surface, but lots of frogs here. And one of my conclusions is probably not a lot of fish or anything really big in this pond. Um, a, because I haven't seen a ton, and B, the frogs are just sitting out in the open floating. And, you know, generally if there's, you know, bass or other things that are going to be eating the frogs for dinner, for lunch, they stay away from being out in the open. So anyhow, um, yeah, let's talk about the kit. My favorite item is right here so far. This knife. I always like Mora, but this knife is just beastly. And again, that thing is razor, razor sharp. So be careful. Don't hurt yourself. I want to make sure I got it in the sheath and didn't stab myself in the leg there. Overall, I think it's a cool box from Battle Box as far as fishing. A um, couple changes I would make. I'd add in some lighter line and some bobbers probably. Um, also, I would add in a thing of bug spray or some sort of bug repellent just because oftentimes when you're out in the woods fishing, that's where the bugs are. So, you know, just a little, a little extra bonus there I think would be a cool thing. But you're getting, you know, quite a bit of gear. What do we got? One, two, two knives. The, um, the buck fishing spear and then the SOG multi-tool. As far as the buck fishing spear, a little skeptical at this point. Um, we'll see how it actually turns out um, if I use it in the future. But even when I saw it at SHOT Show, I thought, cool concept, but um, for the weight and for the size of it, it seems, still seems pretty big. Again, I wanna hear your comments. If you do spear fishing or you know a lot about it, let's hear, what do you think about that? Is it too big, too small, you know, whatever. Let's, uh, let's hear your comments in the uh, comment section down below. Uh, once again, this is a battle box, and uh, I'm reviewing the Pro Plus Edition. It's going to run you 150 bucks. You can get it from, uh, you know, lower cost up to higher cost, depending on how much you want to spend. Links down below to Battle Box and to a bunch of this gear if you want to buy anything that you saw here. Um, I'll put links down below to those items so you can head over to Amazon and pick them up. And as always, that helps support the Everyday Tactical Vids channel. More videos coming soon. Thanks for going on this adventure with me. Take care.